Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Transport Fever 2 Strategy and Tactics Episode 14. So I've let just a tiniest little bit of uh, time pass between uh, the end of the last episode and this one. We've got ourselves some machines flowing into Mimicon and look at that. It's growing even with just the 30% uh, down here, the population change is going to be rather large uh, once the uh, town gets its uh, growing into gear here. And we've got some uh, we've got some good stuff going here. The Zephyr Zephyr uh, still almost full both ways here. Um, so that's some big uh, fat payoffs right there. We've got our uh, steel mill here. Got the 176 in uh, iron, and coal's about to hit its one thing here. And then down here, I think we just dropped off, yes, our steel. And uh, so that is churning and burning some more machines for us, just in time, too. Um, so yeah, that's doing well, but I think I see some room for some optimizations uh, so that we can get the production here sort of maxed out uh, so that not only can we supply Mimicon with all of its goodness, but we can then expand our, uh, our deliveries beyond, beyond just Mimicon. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is uh, this line right here. Uh, I am going to... Uh, have a, have a couple of trains going on this one. We need to up our steel production if we are to uh, help this uh, go in here. So I think for train number three, we... Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tell you just for the moment to go back to the, uh, to the depot. Which is fine. You were going to head there anyway. But there's, there's a reason, a method for my madness. Because um, what I'm going to do... First off, I think... I think I want to hook up a couple more of these, but I, there's a couple of ways I want to do this. Um, oh, one thing I did notice is... We don't need the, this this uh, this ground line right here. We don't need you. We don't need you. We don't need you. And then I'm sure you're yelling at me for line four. Line four does not exist. No, no need for line four anymore because I thought of a more efficient way of doing this. If we take a terminus cargo station, draw it out to 240, and do something crazy. No, that's that's not the terminus. That's the terminus. Do something crazy like, well, you know, I want to give it, I want to give it a chance to, yeah, something like this. Um, and then we take our lines up here, take our track. That's messy as I'll get up. But we're going to have to pay the piper here. Is what if we took this? Yeah, well, it's messy, but... This is this will work. Now, watch this. So we take our, um, our take our line five, and yes, I know I haven't still haven't done done it. So, um, Mimicon East drops off um, at Mimicon Annex, but before before you go to Mimicon East, after Mimicon Annex, then you. Spend uh, then you spin by, pick up some more raw logs at Mimicon Central, drop them off at Mimicon Annex again, and then you go to Mimicon East, and then repeat the cycle. Uh, now, yes, it is saying that you uh, we can't uh, we can't do that. That's okay. Um, we just need to. 
Do that. And then um, for the root, we'll um, make sure that you're using on both of the Mimicon Annex, we want you to use track number two and number two. And that should do fine. So what are we going to use this side of the track for? Well, at the moment, just spitting out new trains. But that, it makes more sense and it lets us get it on the backswing. Uh, so that should work itself out nicely. Let's get this thing maxed out. Um, Because what I want to do is I want to send a lower tech train down here to the Hungerford coal mine. Um, oh yeah, the other thing I'm going to want to do here now is we're going to splinter these two into just uh, two partitions rather than having the, the there and back again line. But I have, a, I have a little plan here for just a little bit of a gambit. I just need to get this train out of the way in order to send my, my other planned train down the line. Ooh, looks like we picked up some steel. 50, uh, 58. I'd say not bad, but I wish you, you know what, I think, I think this one, well, I don't want to say wait till full, because we're not making enough steel in order for it to get full. That's the other reason why I want to kind of amp up our steel production here. Okay, you're in the depot. It is time for a new train. So we're going to go lower tech here, because this is going to be the coal line. So I'm going to go with the Prusse. Uh, and then we're going to go with as many lower tech, uh, not the sidecars, the gondolas. We want the lower tech gondolas. Let's just keep adding them until we get to 240. 37 is good, good enough for me. Uh, let's take a loan. All right, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to start you out. Um, and line four is, is the one here. So I'm going to start you out on line four, just because I want you to make that one trip down here. But then as soon as you arrive at the steel mill, then you can grab that. So I'm actually going to nix line six, the there and back again line. There, yeah, it just shifted. It just shifted all the goods over to the new line, so we can just pick it straight up. And then as soon as you, that way we get one extra um, iron delivery out of the deal. Yeah, you're only carrying 132, which is fine. Which is absolutely fine. And now you, you are also going to be assigned to line, uh, line four here. But you're going to be there permanently. As soon as he passes through, you should be able to get through here. Put a couple more of these down here. And then those make their own, so that works. Makes its own gravy. Oh, and look at that. You can repay. My goal is to be expanding aggressively enough so that I'm always taking loans, but also paying them back, you know, in an ebb and flow station. If we're just sitting back and making money, I ain't growing fast enough. Because uh, there is lots of things to, to be done here. And lots and lots of projects to be done. 
but optimization at the moment is the name of the game. All right, so here's our here's our train with the with the backswing, and this you know what this one now that this is covering so much ground, it may behoove us to upgrade it to the 60 and the higher tech stuff uh, to to uh, keep up with everything. That might be a that might be a smart idea here, uh, which also will require us to take a load. And we might as well, since you're picking stuff up. Um, so, you're going to upgrade to the PLM 220. And you're going to need the higher tech flat car with stein stakes. That's, yeah, those are pretty big, so. Mediocre, yeah, you can handle it just fine. 152 capacity. So I guess it's a little bit different with the uh, side state cars. Um, maybe we do want to have one that's a little bit longer. Since it's the only car on its track. Well, let's go for it. If it if it causes problems, then I'll uh, I'll fix it. No, 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 no. Why are you, why are you only picking? Oh, because that's all there was. There's only 15 to pick up there, just because it hadn't. We had just crossed this over, so it hadn't fully gotten the memo. This will become more productive once this actually fully integrates itself. Also, we need this to um, upgrade itself to actually demand some more. Maybe I should have waited for it to upgrade itself. That's probably what I should have done. Yeah, go on. Because it's not uh, it's not gonna upgrade itself till we till we feed this uh, enough lumber here. But now we've got plenty of uh, plenty of transportation, so the shipment should be good. And actually, in order for this to get high above a hundred, this needs to upgrade itself, which it's about to do. Thank goodness. This is gonna be the this is gonna cure our bottlenecks here. Once this upgrades, then it will start demanding more steel and more uh, uh, planks, which will then allow us to get even more going for everything else. Okay. Yeah, wait for you to... Uh... Now... Um... You're not going to be on line four. You're going to be on line, not line seven, line nine. You're going to be, you're going to be permanently working the uh, coal mine route here. Yeah, this thing is coming back. But again, it's, it's, it's a matter of, uh, just a matter of course here. And now this should be able to go back and forth on its own. Yeah, and there we go. Mimicon's growing properly. Okay, good. That's just commercial buildings. That's fine. As long as we don't have a, a rogue residential zone spring up over here, we're golden. Let's pay off some of that loan. And how is our delivery of this? Yeah, see, it's we're delivering. We're up to 152 demand. I was going to think, aha, I just saw this pop. We are upgraded. We are finally upgraded. So now we can make 200. We can actually handle it, uh, which also means this thing can actually handle it, which means it's also going to start demanding more. See, you're, you're maxed out with these. That should give you plenty of goodies. Uh, and yeah, you got a fresh thing of steel, although only 30 steel. But I think that's because we, uh, we, we're, we're waiting on this thing. We're waiting on our coal here. And why are you only... Were you not getting the memo that we needed a whole butt ton of coal? 
Or were you running up against the cap here? And no, I don't think you were running up against the cap. That seems odd. Yeah, because it's been a while since we've successfully made some steel, and yeah, we're swimming in iron. Oh yeah, that reminds me. We do need, um, at either end of this... Boom. Boom. Boom and boom. We don't need it for the other one because it's on the other side of the track. And more of that repays. I do love how much money we're getting in here. We can just knock down our loans as quickly as we take them. So as soon as you come in, you can you can actually start uh, pumping this up. Yeah, we did have a bit of a disruption here. But this will uh, this will this will this will this will make a work. Because our goal here is eventually to get this up and running and upgraded. Um, this is this is getting pretty close to being upgraded too. Not quite. We need another good steel uh, upgrade here. Um, Thirty-five of sixteen. Yeah, this thing. We, we we need more. We this thing's already glutted with wood, so it's uh, it's just a matter of. Uh, getting these in there but the shipments are now no longer capped uh, so we can actually reach 200 which means we can actually upgrade it to the appropriate level here so we can get another another level of uh, sawmill which will allow us to absorb a lot more raw wood all right mimicon is growing nicely we're up to 50 percent on the machines again once we start capping out the machines that's when i'm going to start looking to expanding to greater horizons because i can tell you eventually fully upgraded this thing can make 400 which is more than mimicon will ever need um so we're going to need to start exporting these out to other towns like malayanopolis that may want the machines um, now let's see right here. Yeah, this this is the uh, this is the thing that earned us the whole. Uh, aha, under thirty four. We we're getting a lot more people coming in here. Eventually, now I just wanted to point something out um, that um, at the turn of the nineteen hundreds. Um, we, we had another, you know, the A35 come out. This thing goes 100 kilometers an hour, and there is a, car, uh, not a cargo, a passenger tram, the six-wheeler, that came out to accompany it. So if we wanted to, we could be supercharging our route here. That being said, um, I don't know if we are quite generating enough passengers for that. Um, because not only not only would uh, upgrading them not give us more passenger capacity, but it also would make them go back and forth faster, uh, which would get them, which would you know give the cities less time to generate the passengers themselves. Uh, so all that being said, that may be a problem, um, you know, a good problem, but a problem nonetheless, uh, because then now we have this uber expensive train that's. Um, not uh, not really pulling its uh, pulling its um, weight because it's partially empty every single time, and the coal really needs to win this fight. But uh, it looks like the iron is going to make it first because this thing is overloaded with co uh, with iron, and it needs the coal. But it looks like we have a yeah we have a full load of coal this time around. Thank goodness. Yeah, just unload and get out of there. We need room for this. I might actually end up um, the Gagnu C40. What in the world is that? That looks passengery, but is it a tram? Is the real question. There was also an upgraded tram that came out that I've been meaning to. Nope, nope, just that. Um, but this this thing right here is actually going to be pretty good on its own. In fact, in the in the uh, spirit of upgrades, um, let's get some upgrading here because these things are are worthwhile. Um, 
if we uh, if we can. Although I mean, the stuff on halls are are, are handling their own, um, but we could probably deal do with like half of them and maybe cut down on some of our noise pollution uh, if we condense them. Like if we uh, if, no not here. Like the Imicon R1, yeah, these things, these, these new trams are pretty much double the capacity of the old ones, uh, and they can go 40. Um, so we we just need one of them, where in, in previously we had the other. So we're going to upgrade you, and we're going to sell you. Now the one the one downside here is in order for it to go 40, we need to uh, upgrade the roads, and that's going to get expensive. You want to talk about uh, city expenses? Um, yeah, this little this little part right here. You know what? In fact, it might even be better for us rather than upgrade that, since the the top part is medium anyway. Um, if we just rip out that and force them to go that way that's probably a smarter idea that's already a um, yeah we want it going the longer way so we're gonna rip up the catenary here along these roads well not not I'm gonna wait for this one to get out of its way but then we're gonna have it take the long way because it's actually probably faster. Because we want them using the medium roads because uh, medium roads let them get up to the, uh, uh, the those 40 kilometers per hour. Um, which also reminds me I need to upgrade the other one. So the Mimicon R2 local, managed vehicle. We're gonna upgrade you. things are expensive but that's never stopped me before so replace you and then sell you and that should give us just the same amount of capacity if not more with less noise because there's only one thing going back and forth now, over here, we got the same deal. Uh, Mimcon Downtown Local. Let's take a look at see at our, let's take, take a look at our roads here. Um, so, this, we could stand to move this, because otherwise we'd have to move all of those. The ones in blue are the ones that are medium roads. So what if, are those all residentials? Yes, they are, but so are these, but this one has partial. All right, I see why we're, I see why we're going down this way and not the other. So it may actually behoove us to uh, make the upgrade down here, because we want this to be upgraded so that the uh, trams can go fast enough. One point four. Now it will move most of these buildings rather than remove them, which is fine. But it's it's going to be an expensive upgrade, but worth it in the long run here. Boom. Now everything else can is is medium track. All right, and now all we have to do is this one. I mean, this one is busy enough by itself. I'm going to just upgrade this one. So, and then for the residential local, yeah, we're going to want to clip one of these two. Doot doot. Womp womp. Because that should cut down on the overall noise here. And we will sell you. Now look at these things.
11 to 21. Now, granted, they don't, are not necessarily going to get full the whole way, but imagine when the trains pull in here and dump a whole crap ton of people on here. Like, there's 12 people here waiting already for the residential side of things. Yeah, and this stop's getting even more popular. Not to mention, because they're traveling faster, it reduces the overall travel time, so this will actually increase our reach a little bit uh, for some of these cities. Um, because it, it's, it, it considers it less time here. 21, there we go, full boat. Full load here, and this thing goes faster. And there's only one... Uh, one tram here to uh, to make noise, so the overall noise complaints should go down. All right, how fully you only got five, but you got um, you got twelve people waiting for you, and we are having some trains pulling in here. Was that yes, yeah, the Espen Express? How's the Espen Express doing? Are you gonna fill back up all the way? Yes, you are. How many people are left waiting for the Espen Express? Um, actually, that's exactly what you needed. So the Espen Express is right where it needs to be as far as capacity goes. I'll upgrade and add to our, our other passenger trains as needed. Um, yeah, Zephyr, Zephyr. Yeah, see, now now we're getting to the point where maybe it's a good idea to upgrade the Zephyr Zephyr to the even faster version of it. Um, because, yeah... Now we're starting to get the numbers. Now that Mimicon's growing like this, um, it might actually be worth it, uh, which is going to require even more load. We can go up to 30. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, the Zephyr Zephyr is going to get replaced with the A35. This monstrosity is the most expensive and the fastest, and all of our compartment cars are going to get replaced. Now we're at 160, I'm going to call this 161 uh, as just fine. One extra meter shouldn't hurt anything. Replace for $10 million. Dang. That's expensive. But sometimes you gotta make, you gotta spend money to make money. Boop. And that doesn't hurt any of the passengers on board as far as uh, you know, we still get that payoff, which means we can immediately start paying off this massive loan that we are accumulating. And 157 and 168. Like I said, I, this is this is overdoing it a little bit on purpose, but for the per with the intention to grow further. And now this thing is going to start taking off like a rocket once it gets up to speed here. Um, the Zephyr Zephyr is going even faster. It can go up to 100 now, and it's got the long distance to where it actually have, it has enough run time to reach that speed. Uh, this should, in the end, um, get uh, even more destinations going for uh, uh, Mimicon, because this is shortening the distance and the time between these two routes, which means it, once, it's, once the memos start making the S8, see how it's going up? Um, now that the memos are being sent out, you can actually start seeing more um, additional uh, destinations now that the uh, now this is actually going faster. Um, so I think we're going to end it here. Uh, so if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!
Dope. Fujazzi, not Fujazzi. JC City to Bo. Get out of here. We got an expensive. We got an expensive train to drop off here. As a frazzin, I want to see how much we're about, how much bank we're about to, to pull in on this, and also how much we're gonna load up in the backswing. Auto save. Come on. Auto save. Thank you. Boom! 2.5 million. And how many people on the backswing? 144. Not too shabby. That's what I'm talking about. I think this was the right time to upgrade this one. See you next time, folks.